So Chiefs did say that they will tell us when they're finished or they're done signing. And even after signing Udove, no, be Mengimana, they haven't said so we to look sign. And because of that, precisely because of that, Kusazo Kubega Vele Kube Navantaba linked to Chiefs, given the fact that also the window closes uh, in September. And because of that, that's why Kulu Luguti when there is an available player as Chiefs fans, we want to jump in it and say, sign him now! And in this video, I'm going to about three of those people. And the first one, Ukamo Hele Mokojo, a 31-year-old, and here's the thing, defensive midfielder, and I know the alarm bells go off. Sign him, and him sign him on Goma, and him sign him on Zungu. Now on Kocho available. He's a defensive midfielder. Chiefs doesn't have a defensive midfielder, and people wanna jump in that and sign him. But here's a problem I have with signing Umu Kocho to a Chiefs. It's not because he's a bad player. It's not because of his age. Because you might think in so okay. No, it's because Umu Kocho before. Coming back to SA, apparently he was training with FC20, right? Uh, FC20, I think they're in the Netherlands. And while he was there, Goban set back in my injury. Now, he's quality enough, and teams like that in Europe, basically, even not just Europe, that's South Africa, we can do that. They know what you do a medical year player. And you know, with if I'm on the injury prone, long to so my liability. And I cannot have a spussy social, a spussy social, the 2.0 here. I cannot have a player also feel like we cheap, see, as much as a quality angel. But umuko cho, ongena injury. I hope you pronounce that in English, Bongosa. Umuko cho, ongena injury is a good player. We can sign him. But Um Kojo, who has injuries, who's injury prone, and I again mean a bit to Ibena Lomund in the team because the reason why we would be bringing him in is because we want someone of a high quality, also competitor, who call in on Angus, they are born with, they're not going to fit or they are not fitting with the style that the Chiefs is trying to play. So now if you're going to get Um Kojo on my injury foot, it's not a little bit of a because. But one thing that I said, uh, I think a few weeks ago, the problem I have on Wuti Chips and I've been like the cup striker, or Wutu to pray, now I only kill as I guess I'm injured last season when I'm injured. Well, but if he gets injured, then we don't have backup. Uli Mele Manji, we don't have backup. And now we are continuous, we are continuing to play with Uto Uli, no billiard, we are out of form because I get a good dose of computer now. Because the person was lala in the one way, only man the match. So if us lala numko or lala the two games, basically lala foot seven zala. Me take fun and us right now. He's there. He can play left back. Can play uzwane. He can play him as a third centre back. My friend was like third centre back or a left footed centre back. But he's not helping us with anything because only man and man. With injuries, we know which it's not just about who to recover from an injury. There is also a psychological thing to an injury. Because we've been laid off for such a long time. I've seen it in players, even like Oxley Chamberlain. That player was so good before he got injured. Got injured, was out for a year, and was never the same player again. And I don't want to have a player also by Jalo Chiefs. Say, I'm born with Kenz and I'm Holland, I'm from Wednesday on Milan. Maybe it's in Saliga Pool on one player. Let me move to the other one, Sir Frank. I want to say Frank Ogeka is in Milan, so China White Chiefs should go and sign this player. Because Sundowns spent 11 million on this guy. And I'm not saying Chiefs should buy him because Sundowns spent a lot of money on him. Chiefs will not even be buying him, they will be signing him for free. And the question would be, how you go? I don't know when. You see, be striker with PSL last season, the best thing I social media the best game. Which one? Nobody. And besides Ugu Tigi Ubezala, a limited amount of games, he played 29 games, or he appeared 29 times, and he played 29 games. 
because I'm um, appearance is like sometimes you can get a lot seven minutes, but it still counts as an appearance, and yet it still scored a goal. In fact, he scored in the semi final, the Shiro LAM taking Santos to the final. So that player of that caliber ought to be a release of Santos because Santos was signed last year and but then he released because Sebens and Ugubabe they say enough for the foreign players and then Basbam released with Safranco. They didn't want to release him for free, but because they want open space for the other players, Bam release. Uzo Snigeza and Usa Frank, Uzo Snigeza competition. We know Uti Chiefs, Ukelev wasn't really a striker they preferred, but it was more like, if we can't find someone better, as in Fage, Kuse Korelevele, he has given us something, but it would be good for us as the team. To have someone also compete out with Caleb because Naemaya yet to lap, who's of the Nas, which I scream a sound and you won't be giving us anything. And if you have another person, or say Franco, who could potentially attach a scheme with Caleb because now Caleb has a good character scheme way. And I say that guys because he's a quality strike, I believe, would he. He, 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 a team as big as the Sundowns, a team as dominant as the Sundowns, they don't just sign a player because you feel like I'm not in, you are just competing with Chiefs, but I love so many quality players. So for me, if it's not ridiculous, the Isana Raifuna, this is a free transfer, this is like a hit with Nigezi where you can also sign him on a very short term contract. And then Umam Nige is like a long term contract in case it's a flop. Because if Chiefs had a better option, they would have signed them. Me and Amzo Shujangamanji, if Chiefs are in a crisis, we are in a crisis because we are not scoring goals. As much as it's not like let's press a band up front, we need a goal scorer. And Caleb, as much as it's a good criticism, but it's not proven good PSL. But even if Matuya figure got a press in, if he gets injured, then who's the backup? And if he doesn't have competition, then who's the free? I've covered this. I'm not looking sound like a broken record. Pez Gualo, who above in the Bagaga, Casa Franco, there's also in the Bagaga Erasmus. So we know what the Sundowns in Oshalo Lili, we know what the Sundowns in, uh, they just signed up with Bakana Zero, or Kora Kings, the Chiefs in, the Sundowns in Ukutumela. You know, they are covered in terms of it, right? And Erasmus is apparently not so happy uh, with just being kept like with Sundowns. Now, that's another very good option. The first time when he was available, the other time I thought Chiefs were just going to jump and sign him. In fact, I think he did get linked to Chiefs and then he ended up signing him. He was South Africa. And again, my whole thing would be, uh, I can sit here and try and explain how good Erasmus is and why would I be doing that? Because if you've been watching South African football, then you know how good Kemet Erasmus is. And if he was available, if he could release by Sundowns, that means the only hurdle that we'll have to deal with is how much money does he want. Because if we are not paying any transfer fee, then basically all we have to cover are his sal- is his salary. So, I hope he chips near the foot loki chele loki chele. Because we don't want to say Frank. We have Royal M. Royal M is not playing games. Royal M can snatch him. We come back and go to Royal M. Yes, if we go to Covid, but no Covid truly mad. So they can jump in and buy us a Frank if he chips in tatis tatis seat. You also have a team like Amazon right now on top of the league right now. Yes, he's scoring Amazon Umang right now, but I, I don't know whether they said they were done. But still, now Basaini we left the gate to lay Basaini Umabili. So so they are not they wouldn't let go a good signing Mabe Bona because he's a 27 year old Safranco. So Chiefs should should be quick in doing that. And also the same thing with Erasmus. If too available. Chill should go out and snatch him because there is a still honestly. I know Uti Ogo time he's not like uh, the same Erasmus he was five years ago. But 
I tell you now, Ugutu Erasmus is a quality striker and he is not just like Upilia Tuguti. He's a good winger, but maybe he's not going to be that great if Umzal says number nine. But Erasmus is that center forward, is that striker. And now, if you have Musa Franco, Erasmus, and Ukele, now you have a competition. Now you can change your system if you like. If you have a and then you have deadly. Se Franco area with red. So, Lama Crossila and Luke Shawa, who Frostla, or Luke Shawa, who by Nasazo Tola someone also by target man and Erasmus on strength, which means our setting is your e area ability. You just need his strength circuit to hold the ball up and he can dribble the ball in 10 as well and run into the box and finish off chances. So, for me, these two transfers, Erasmus and Nasazo Franco, I know brainer if they're available. Chiefs should just go after them and get them. And for Muko to share my Ndabama injury or your injury, that worries me. No very quality channel. So, guys, Nchele, what do you think about these potential signings to Chiefs down in the comment section below? Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Remember, and until next time, remember, he goes Ali Pelumon.